In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make Pisomon go from looking like this to looking something more like this. Yes, I know, it's beautiful. Let's get started. Step number one is to check for the version of our Pisomon. Before we install Optifine, we need to know what version of Optifine we're going to download. If you're using CurseForge, it will tell you right here. When you click on the Pixelmon mod pack, as you can see, it says 1.12.2. If you're not using CurseForge, just go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher where you have the Pixelmon mod pack. Click on this little folder right here and just open the mod folder right here where we could see that the mod, for example, they say 1.12.2 at the end so i know this is 1.12.2 anyways if you install pixelmon manually i assume that you already know what version of pixelmon you had once we know the version of pixelmon that we have go ahead and click on the first link in the description which will bring you to our written tutorial on how to download and install optifine here the main thing though is to click this big button that says download optifine here go ahead and click on that button that is going to redirect you into the optifine website where we're going to click show all versions now if you guys remember i have 1.12.2 so i'm going to scroll down until i find 1.12.2 as you can see i have it right here many of you might have a newer version like 1.16.2 I believe it's the newest version. It might be 0.16.5 or 0.16.4. I'm not sure. One of those is the newest version of Pixelmon. Anyways, in my case, I just have 1.12.2. So what you're going to do here is download the most recent version for that. In this case, it's this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on download. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to wait five seconds. Okay. Most of us are going to have five seconds. Some of you might have 10 seconds. Just waiting here until the top right says a skip. Let's just wait for that to say skip. And as you can see here, it says a skip. Go ahead and click on the skip button. That is going to redirect you over here where we're finally going to download the right version of Optifine for our mod pack go ahead and click download and it's going to immediately start to download here in the bottom left and i'm going to go ahead and drop that into the desktop go ahead and minimize everything and drop that into the desktop I'm going to drag it right into my desktop go ahead and close the websites that we have previously opened and then click on the second link in the description i mean you could honestly get any shaders you want but for this tutorial we're going to be using sealed shaders if you want to download them we have a guide on the second link just go ahead and click on that guide that is going to bring you over here you can come over here and again the main thing here is to click the download Silders shaders here go ahead and click on that that is going to redirect you to the Silders website in here we're going to scroll down to find all the different versions of cylinders as you can see we have light medium high for this tutorial i'm going to download light feel free to download any of them maybe you want to use medium high that is up to you i'm going to go ahead and download the light version when you click on that link it's going to redirect you over here where again we're going to wait five seconds look for the top right corner in here let's wait for that to say skip we're going to click on the skip button that is going to take you to the curseforge website and here we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to click download right here for this download file as you can see it's going to download it for all the versions that are supported and we have 1.12 right here so go ahead and click download it's going to bring you over here we're in five seconds again i know there's a lot of five seconds wait so we're just gonna wait and that is going to start the download for cylinders as you can see we have a zip file we're going to drop that into the desktop we don't need it for now anyways let's go ahead and close out from all the websites and let's go ahead and launch our minecraft launcher where we have pick someone if you're using curseforge you can go ahead and click play on here in curseforge if you're not using curseforge just open your minecraft launcher where you have the pick someone mod pack in here we're going to open this little folder right here go ahead and click on that folder that is going to bring the pick someone folder up and in here we're going to open the mods folder if you had opened it earlier you're already know where it is just go ahead and open that mods folder and in here we're going to drag and drop optifine just grab optifine drop it in right there so you can see we now have optifine 1.12.2 in this folder go ahead and close out from this folder and go ahead and launch pick someone if you're using the minecraft launcher just go ahead and click play there if not go through curseforge click play and then once you're here go ahead and click play let's go into open pick someone let's wait for pick someone to load once pick someone has opened i'm gonna go ahead and make a big screen i mean now nah, i'm gonna make it smaller because it gets a little bit glitchy go ahead and click on options actually let me lower the music god yes i lower the music because it's a bit loud Go ahead and click on video settings. And now, as you can see, we have a shaders option right here. Go ahead and click on that folder. We're going to click on shaders folder. That is going to open this folder in here. But we're going to drop our zip file that we had downloaded earlier, right? I'm assuming you followed the guide in this tutorial and you downloaded this shaders. But if you downloaded your own shaders, just drop that zip file in here. Now we could close out from here. And as we can see in game, we now have the option to put silver shaders in. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's wait for that to load. It's going to take a while. Do not worry. It's not crashing. Just give it some time. Sometimes it might take up to a minute. I mean, I remember with my older graphics card, this thing used to take so long. So anyways, once we have the shaders in, go ahead and click on done, done, done. And let's launch a world so we can see. And as you can see here in game, we have the shaders working. You press C, it zooms in. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to add shaders to pick someone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, bye bye.